Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Pick 6. I'm your host, Mike Wobshaw, inside the Fieldhouse at TCO Performance Center. Happy New Year, everyone. Super Bowl 53 is over. Congrats to the New England Patriots. And let's move on to 2019. We are all zero and zero. Let's also move on to your questions. The first one comes from Brian. Saw some things about sliding Riley Reef to guard and was just curious of your thoughts on the matter. Interesting idea. You know, Riley is such a pro. He's played left tackle. He's played right tackle. I'm sure he can do anything the coaches ask. The bottom line is you want to get the five best linemen out on the field as soon as possible to get those guys working together. If that means moving Riley Reef inside to guard, Mike Zimmer will do that. At the end of the day, you want your best five as soon as possible. Question number two, also an offensive line related question, comes from Gar in South Dakota. Which is more needed along the offensive line, a guard or a tackle? Well, as it stands right now, at the end of the 2018 season, you're pretty solid at offensive tackle with Riley Reef and Brian O'Neill, who had a really good rookie season. Now, if you move Reef inside to guard, that opens up a spot at tackle. If you keep Reef at tackle, then maybe guard is more needed. The bottom line is, with players that have versatility, like Riley Reef and like Nick Easton, the Vikings will have the ability in the draft to be very flexible and just take the best player available between a guard or tackle if they're deciding among the offensive linemen. Question number three comes from Jordan in Albert Lee, Minnesota. Do you think the Vikings will bring in a receiver like Jamison Crowder or Deshaun Jackson as a third option? It would reunite them with Kirk Cousins. Well, those are two pretty good options if they become available. We reunited Aldrick Robinson and Kirk Cousins last season, and that worked out pretty well. But remember, the Vikings also have some options already on the roster for WR3. Laquan Treadwell is here, Aldrick Robinson is here. How about Chad Beebe or Brandon Zilstra? Those guys will be in the mix, as well as draft eligible players and potential free agents. Next question comes from Victor. Where do we have the most depth? Interesting question, Victor. We can't march into Rick Spielman's office and take a look at his board, so let's take a guess ourselves. We're pretty good at tight end. I think we're gonna have three quality ones returning from last season. We've always been deep along the defensive line with Mike Zimmer and Andre Patterson working on that group, but how about the cornerback position? Especially with a healthy Mike Hughes, the Vikings have a boatload of really good corners. That's a really good position to have depth and the Vikings have just that. Next question comes from Johnny. I have us playing the Falcons, Seahawks, and the NFC East division next year. What is the AFC rotation for 2019? The Vikings play the AFC West in 2019. They will play in Los Angeles against the Chargers, and they will play in Kansas City against the Chiefs. The Vikings host the Broncos and the Raiders. Home games for the Vikings next year. Bears, Packers, Lions, Eagles, Redskins, Raiders, Broncos. Away games for the Vikings next season. Bears, Packers, Lions, Giants, Cowboys, Chargers, Chiefs, and Seahawks. All right, our final question comes from Paulson. What pick will the Vikings have in this upcoming draft? Well, in the first round of the draft, the Vikings will hold the 18th overall selection. So get excited for that. That's coming up later in the spring. Before then, though, we're going to go to the Combine and get our draft coverage kicked off the right way. Wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the 2019 Scouting Combine from Indianapolis will be brought to you from the Vikings Entertainment Network. We can't wait to get there. Let us know what you want us to cover. Reach out to us on Twitter or via email, of course. And make sure you reach out to me via email at the address at the bottom of the screen because you could be included in next week's edition of the Pick 6. See you then.